What's going on guys? Haxa here with another episode of Skull the Hero Slayer. I actually have a pretty uh, good idea what I want to do for today's episode. I had a viewer requesting for me to play a uh, Chase Pikeman run. So it's been a while since I've done something like that. So let's see if we can get it started. Um, however, I, it's I'm not committing to it. Like That's the thing I always talk about. Don't force builds. Um, if I'm not offered a good pathway to chase, I'm not going to take, uh, I'm not going to force it, but I'll try. I'll, I'm going to give it a good effort to, uh, to build that path today. So that's, that's like my goal going into this run, but I'm not going to force it. Like I said, so just want to make that clear, but chase pipeline is obviously like one of the stronger chase builds that you can make. I'm a big advocate for chase just being powerful across the board. You do not need to play, uh, pikeman to play chase you don't even need to play like a tackle dashing power spell to play chase uh chase you can just put chase on anything and it works because um the thing about chase is you don't really uh build your damage with um with dashing through your skulls damage pretty much ever though of course it helps to have uh damage on your on your dash to uh, make it stronger but the way you make chase powerful and just dashing in general is through items so um and, and that's just the case in general with Skull the Hero Slayers, like, items are kind of the natural way you scale pretty much everything. Oh, also, I forgot to fix his ability, excuse me. Don't be too mad at me while I do this, but this is just what I would have been doing in the, uh, in the upper area. Um, I do not want this skull either. Uh, I want this one, okay. This is my favorite, uh, Pikeman skill, and I pretty much don't play him without it, so... Uh, what I did there is I just re-rolled my skill. What I would have done up in the beginning area, I just did with the dev menu. So, pretty much the same thing. Uh, ooh! Okay, so that's a really good start for a chase build. Cavalry decoration is um, very, very good. So, um, very, like, standard, easy to... And that's one thing I can say about chase across the board. Is chase is a very consistent archetype to build. Because uh, a lot of the high value chase items are in the rare uh, pool of items. So like a uh, hidden dagger. Um, that's like one of the best chase items. Uh, Hunter's boots, obviously a really good one. Cavalry decoration, quite nice as well. Um, you even have some good uh, magic damage dealing. And also a thing I can say about chase is generally speaking, you almost always build mixed damage unless you just find all the physical items and none of the magic items so like if i see some good magic chase items i'm going to take those as well like um what's it called uh fragment of sun wagon also quite a nice chase item stuff like that um which is also a rare item uh the red the rare uh item pool is stacked with chase items and they're all pretty freaking good so when i said at the start of the run i'm not going to force the build that just means if I'm profoundly unlucky and don't see any of the good rare chase items, of which there are so many, we can't play chase. But the odds of us playing chase today are quite high. Uh, however, no money? I've, for a second thought I might have forgotten the Carleon insignia, but I guess I just didn't get any fucking money. Jesus Christ. Uh, let's see if I have to buy treasure on the pedestal here. Maybe I get like a good treasure item up here. What are you? Not good. Also not good because we're not going to be using our abilities that much. Normally I would take something like this, but not today. Uh, not good either, but I... <laughs> you know what? Maybe we'll do a hybrid. Kind of makes me wish I took the Mana Eater. Because frankly, this is like arguably just worse Mana Eater, which is pretty funny. Uh, I guess one good thing about this is it sets me down the Masterpiece route, which allows me to awaken my Hunter's Boots if I find them, which I should find them. They're only a rare item, but I guess crazier things have happened. It is what it is. Uh, it appears I might be low rolling my doors, though, based on what happened in that uh, first shop. So, I guess one good thing about Pikeman across the board is, um, like, I have this skill that even if I am just playing around Chase, I will occasionally use it which will allow me to activate my goblet just kind of like naturally also i had something else i wanted to say but i can't remember what it was um i <laughs> i lost it guys i'm sorry it was important too it's something i was wanting to say for a, a hot second but i kept getting distracted whoops uh, i'll just take the thief armor here 
Thief Armor is quite nice. You can't go wrong with Thief Armor. Oh, I hope I forgot to turn off custom items. I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, yeah, I did. We know I did because they weren't in the uh, the starting area for a second. Oh, I remember what I wanted to say. Um, a viewer kept, uh, or not kept, a viewer has mentioned a build to me that is a surrounded, uh, a, it, it's, it's about rare pikemen and not involving him beyond pikemen or rare pikemen and keeping him here and building around sore. Uh, they asked if I've used this build before. Yes, I have. I've done it many times. It's very powerful. Um, in fact, I have a not too old video. It's it's within this patch cycle of me doing that build, if you want to go and watch that. But um, it, there's not a lot of builds I haven't done in this game. I have tw 2,500 hours in Skull the Hero Slayer, so just if anyone asks me if there's... And that's not to say you guys can't show me things I haven't seen before, so always bring it up. But generally speaking, if you guys ask me if there's a... Also, I know there was a cow uh, armor or a coward's cape back there, which is a chase item. Uh, not a good chase item, so I'm not going to be taking it. But um, generally speaking, if you guys ask if I've seen a build, the answer is yes. Because even if I didn't think of it, um, someone in my audience told me about it over like the course of the time I've been uploading to YouTube. Like, I am not a spring chicken in this game. I'm a fucking... Uh, I, I'm a seasoned veteran. But there's still things I'm discovering all the time, like, um, the, uh, and also not discovering myself and having others help me discover things for the record. I don't want to take all the credit, but, um, for the longest time, I never played chase runs. I, I didn't consider it a valid archetype. And, uh, only within, like, the last half year or so did I start realizing that chase is just powerful in and of itself. So, like, stuff like that. There's always stuff to be discovered. I could take Thorny Pauldrons here. The problem with, um... I guess the dash attack damage by 80% is pretty nice, but the problem with uh, Thorny Pauldrons is they don't really work on a lot of skulls. They own This item only works on Tackle Dashers and, um... And, uh... And Pikemen. That's literally it. And I guess, um... They work on... Uh... Un or, uh... King of Heroes, I think that's what the the Unknown King transformation. They also work on that now, but uh, very minimal use item, and personally not a fan of it. But I'll take it for now. Maybe we can do some weird bleed shenanigans. Also, something you should know about me is I am not the biggest fan of bleed across the board. I think it's a, I think it's easily by far the worst uh, status in the game. Doesn't even come close. And uh, sadly, I don't think it's ever going to be fixed. It is what it is. <laughs> it's very hard to get good bleed runs, and I mean very hard to get good bleed runs. One way we could maybe get there is if we got uh, Miracle Grail, and not just Miracle Grail, but also getting the uh, getting the um, curse as well could be nice. It's it's very difficult to get a good bleed run off the ground. I find it is what it is. Um, a lot of people. At least in the past, I don't know how the general community feels about it these days. But back in the day, man, people used to like act like bleed was so good, and people would say that poison is bad. It's like, man, these people just live in a, on a different planet than me, man. Like, I, I don't even know how to begin to talk about that, because <laughs> like, bleed is is god awful almost always you can and and the thing about it is people will have like one good bleed run and then they'll swear by bleed forever whereas me and like i said i have 2500 hours in this game i have played so many runs of skull it would blow your fucking mind i'm pretty consistent at winning i think i'm pretty good at this game i don't think i'm close even close to the best at this game but i do think i'm good at it and i do know my stuff about this game and i promise you i promise you no matter how many like one off good bleed runs you have had in your uh, in your time playing this game i've played this game so much and i promise you bleed is bad poison is good it it's it's just it is what it is now you can have a different perspective and i will hear you out but i i will not believe you <laughs> like because like i said people will have a good bleed run and then swear by it forever which which Consistency matters the most, and there is no more consistent status in Skull the Hero Slayer than Poison. Poison is so consistent, you can run it on magic skulls, and it'll be almost as powerful as if you were running on a physical skull. Because the, the thing about Poison is the way it scales, it scales purely through your damage percent, 
and no other. Uh, I mean, every status skills um, through damage percent. So technically, you could run like like an arson physical skull too. You could run a, a bleed magic skull. It just wouldn't be very good. Um, whereas poison is like such a powerful scaling force in and of itself, where uh, the other statuses don't quite get there. Um, poison is just uniquely able to be ran on um, on on pretty much anything in the game. It's I always call it the universal status. Which it is. It's like a very uh, universal uh, way to, to scale your damage in this game. And the, the cool thing about poison that is unique to poison is like the way it scales with uh, weakness exposure. It like exponentially scales weakness exposure as well because it's all about like tick rate and like how quickly you can apply damage ticks to the enemy. I don't know. I feel like I'm overdue for a poison run. Um, at least a little bit. There's always new people finding my channel and I always like setting the record straight with things like this basically this whole long-winded rant was just to say poison or a bleed bad poison good and if you don't believe me just please watch my content please please or at least play it for yourself and figure it out <laughs> please man um none of this is good literally none of this i guess ogre's fine though with something like pikeman where we're going to be moving around a lot like all over the place he's like very uh he, he doesn't stay in place for very long so of course i'm gonna see cat eyes on this run man if only this was a frost run i never get to play the st uh, status curses even though most of them are very good the only one that's truly unusable is uh is um the poison one which is funny like the the best status in the game has easily the worst uh curse it's actually a bad curse, is the uh, interesting thing about it. Because it literally just makes you weaker. Also, we got uh, we got Forward March, which is a very interesting skill. It's like a very risky skill, but it's very good if you use it at the right moments. Definitely don't use it whenever there's a Gatling Gunner scaring you down like, uh, like I just did. Very stupid of you. But uh, it, basically, what if you don't know what Forward March does, which I'm sure most of you do, but I'll go over anyway. Um... It, it gets rid of your dash iframes and increases your dash damage and makes them have no cooldown. Or maybe, it, hang on, does it increase your dash damage? No, it increases dash distance. Okay, my bad. Um, but, like, not having iframes on your dash is, like, a nightmarish proposition. But, like I said, if you use it in the right circumstance, it's very powerful. Oh, also, I, I found this stupid thing you can do on Pikeman. I call it multi-click drifting because I'm a fucking idiot, but like it, and I don't even know if you can do this on console easily, but if you're playing on PC, whatever your, uh, your dash and attack buttons are, mash them simultaneously, you can do this. Only at, you can unique and plus Pikeman though, because he has that, um, he has this, this, uh, very strange in-air attack that's kind of bad, honestly, like, I feel like everyone, no one likes the in-air attack on, uh, unique and legendary Pikeman. But like a, you can do this with it, where like you uh, you combine it with your dash, and it kind of like allows you to do these multi attacks in the air. Not very good, mind you. It's very niche and weird, but uh, I guess occasionally it can do good for you. Normally, I would be a uh, I would be a defender of branches of destruction. Uh, it, it really depends on the skull you're using. I don't think this would be a good uh, use case for branches of destruction, um, mostly because like branches of destruction scales. The more damage percent you have and also the higher damage you deal with per attack i would say is a factor in that as well so like the fact we're doing like death by a thousand paper cuts on a run like this so it just doesn't seem good and also you need to be using your skills to activate the uh the branches and we're not using our skills a ton so it is what it is I'm very, I'm interested in potentially ble uh, building around bleed this run. I don't know, because I did just rant about it. Um, and all that ranting and raving was like, um, you know, like nothing in this game is unusable, right? Like every strategy can be won with. It's just a matter of like consistency, right? And I'm all about uh, consistency in Skull. Like that's like my, always my goal. Uh, whenever I'm doing a run is to get to that golden windscreen and just get a win like that's that's how I play this game. So um, 
Also, is a warrior worth considering? He does have a tackle dash. I will, I will pick this up. I'm not going to commit to him, but it's more interesting than the monkey. We'll take the gold percent gain because we're definitely going to need it on this run. We have like giga low rolling our doors. It's crazy. Uh, this is technically chase. Is it what I'm looking for? Kind of. It's good enough, I think. Although if I'm going bleed, you know what? No, 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 no. Let's let's stay the course here. This is looking like it could potentially be a mono type dash run, and that would be okay. It could be a chase bleed run, but that sounds so weird. That sounds horrible. One, two. This will be three. Could get rid of the medallion, but we need the gold. We really do. I'll get rid of the thief armor. Wait, huh? What? What what just happened? What did I just pick up? I'm so confused. Did I drop the fighter's belt at some point? I may have. Wait, okay. One, two, we're at masterpiece three. Okay, so no. <laughs> what? I'm just a, someone in the comments. Like I I don't I I don't even know if I should be confused. I'm I'm a mess, guys. I'm a fucking mess. What's wrong with me? I, I'm, I, I don't know. That was weird. I feel like my brain got confused for no reason. <laughs> but now we have the uh, the Hunter's Boots. <clears throat> which a lot of people consider to be the best chase item. Or at least one of the better chase items. Personally, for my money, if I'm going for like best chase item, my money goes to um, uh, Hidden Dagger. Or, uh, I guess common chase items. The best chase item is probably, um, uh, Main of the Beast King, but... Like, uh, Hidden Dagger is very, very, very good. Another situation where I activate a forward march with a fucking... Okay, yeah, I literally... That's, that's such a stupid activation on my part. There's a fucking Disaster Dark Elite here and a Gatling Gunner, and I lost, like half of my HP basically on that so very stupid I mean uh, it's very important to activate your forward marches if you're going to activate it at all at times where it makes sense and that is not a time where it made sense so stupid 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 but we're fine I think we'll be okay let me just get my gamer posture going because we gotta make sure we live here okay we got the uh the balls of energy. Here's a decent time to activate my forward march. Just get a lot of damage going here. See? When you when you activate it at the right time, it genuinely deals a fuckload of damage. And now this is a trivialized uh, Dark Elite. Or not Dark Elite. Um, adventurer fight. We definitely want to stop her from ulting if we can. Yeah. Just like that, you end it and with a single fucking thing that you did. One little attack is all it took. What do we got here? Uh, that is <laughs> the Ice uh, Palder, Spalders. Yeah, the Ice Scale Spalders, which is not something I'm going to take here. I feel like that's leaning too much into the memes. Like if we're doing status dashing, like bleed is one thing. It's I actually, it's hard for me to envision... Too many scenarios for S I skill Spalders, honestly. I'm not committing to this warrior yet, by the way. I just took him for a potential tackle dashing skull. I could find a better tackle dasher that I'd rather have than him. Could even find a skull that I isn't even like if I find a champion, I'd like to have that. I'm pretty sure the uh the parry dash activates um stuff like this. And if it doesn't, good lord, like another thing that is just like oddly weak on champion but it should activate the uh the um thing that we have thorny pauldrons i don't know why i couldn't think of the name for a second covid brain guys even though like i would have done that regardless <laughs> everything's covid's fault uh petrify okay so if you watched a recent video I did where I used a chase gargoyle run to uh, 
to use like the wave dashing as one of my viewers calls it um, to do stuff like this it's quite a powerful chase uh, build that you can do genuinely very fucking good I probably should take this the problem is <laughs> it completely over overscales my uh, my my pikeman here who's supposed to be the focus point and I'll, I did do that not too long ago so let's uh let's stick to this also no tackle dash so like we won't be doing status damage if I do find a good route to do that with but like that is probably unironically even a stronger chase build than a pikeman it's basically like you had forward march but you keep your iframes essentially think of it like that like People genuinely underestimate the Gargoyles in so many ways. Like, a lot of people are convinced it's a bad skull. And I get why, for the record. I always say this when I'm talking about uh, Gargoyle. I understand people's problems with Gargoyle. The ice physics are very annoying. Like, he just has permanent ice physics. And everyone fucking hates ice physics in video games. But um, he is genuinely a very, very good skull with a lot of utility if you know how to wield him correctly. Give me uh, Bone Shards. Bone Shards, thank you. Getting anything but Bone Shards from these guys kind of sucks. Money's fine and all, but like Bone Shards are a much rarer currency. Alright, let's see if we can get lucky here. Okay, we're starting to potentially see a status build emerge here, which is very interesting to me. All we need to do is awaken this masterpiece shit. Aw, oh, man. I thought I would get lucky here. But I do see a uh, Medusa. And frankly, I've been saying this as of late. I think I like uh, Medusa more than Succubus these days. Like, in terms of, like, uh, defensive um, defensive quench. I think Medusa is probably the best. Which is... Uh, th that's fighting words for a lot of people. Because, like, Succubus is, like, most people's number one. <laughs> I just value stun so much. Stun is so powerful. Also, sorry for my sniffles. I'm not even a little worried about this Leona sisters, by the way. This is bullshit, though. We actually had a very good chance of being able to upgrade this to legendary before we get in Act 3, but very last second bad luck kind of fucked us over here. Ow, that was not good timing on my part. Okay, if I do this right, I can uh, board march. Okay, there's a Gatling Gunner over there, so we have to uh, steer clear of that for a second. It also behooves me now to use my basics because we have the um, we have this now, so we're going to be incorporating basic attacks into this actually. Not normally something I do on chase builds. I don't know. The status chase build kind of has me uh, rubbing my hands greedily. Because it's like, it's juggling a lot of strategies. We need some dense damage scaling to make up for our lack of damage that we're going to have. Um, but if I can pull this off, this would be so sick. Like, so fucking cool. All right, bozo, bring them on, loser. I'm ready. I ain't afraid. Normally I am, but what, what can I say? I'm feeling a little comp cocky and confident today. Cocky then is, is I would uh, have put it there had I not stopped myself. This is a long hair sister. No, it's a short hair sister. Okay, I don't know what I'm talking about. What's my damage, by the way? Horrible. As to be expected with a, with a build like this. Okay, we got her fairly low. Wow, they really want it, guys. They, uh, they're pretty desperate. Okay, let's leave her alone, because we're going to be doing a lot of passive damage just by dashing. 
So I have to be aware. I, I probably put her too low as it stands. Uh, I'm probably going to end up killing her accidentally, which is not good. We do not want to do that. Okay, let's be very careful here. Ow. Okay, you need to fuck off. Leave me alone. Let me kill you, now. Go on then, do something. For the love of God, I ain't got all day. And you know I can dodge you as long as I fucking want to. Hope you realize that, like, you're slow as fuck. You're slow. You're too slow. Could be a time for a forward march, but I feel like activating forward march against Leilani sisters is like a death sentence for the most part. Okay, so they're both fairly low here. Um, I'm still going to try and kill her, but now I can actually deal my damage equally between the two of them and get try and get them as low as possible. A little uh, unfortunate that I took that damage there, but I think we're in good shape here. I think we're in good condition to get a fairly easy victory here. Ooh, okay. Sometimes stunning them right out the gate can be bad because it, it like interrupts the uh, the guaranteed pattern that you're supposed to get, where she leads with her uh, basic attacks, where like she just kind of sends the slashes everywhere. So I just did it to get a little extra easy damage on them, but. Okay, we should be out of here from here. As you can see, my damage needs a lot of work. Um, not even, my collection desire even sucks, which is to be expected with a uh, masterpiece, but still. We gotta get that up. Hopefully I get a good curse. Like, a curse that completely changes the course of this run, like life change or something. Or a good item here. A masterpiece item works. We're still not... Oh, we are done. Oh, there's gold percent game, but I'm definitely taking Masterpiece without even a shred of doubt. Um, We can even start ditching Masterpiece items we don't want. So first thing to go here is going to be this, for sure. Um, But now we have the Blooming Blade Shards, which I almost never get to play with Blooming Blade Shards. Part of the reason why I'm so excited about this run is the Blooming Blade Shards. They're so fucking cool. Can't they apply bleed? I'm pretty sure they can. Yeah, they can. <laughs> Ready to die? Mm, nah. Outgoing and incoming damage is amplified by 25% for 5 chances upon being hit. Amplified up to 75. Oh my god. Oh, People keep telling me ready to die is good. But I'm pretty sure the, the name of the thing is like very descriptive of what it expects you to do when you take it. So I, I don't think I've ever taken ready to die. Uh, for one, I don't think it's good for me. I'm a very reckless player. Like, in spe like specifically, a player like me would almost insta-dive with something like that. But, um... Even, even outside of me, like, I don't know, man. People swear by it, but I've never even considered taking it. But, like, I have had my mind changed on a lot of stuff recently. Like, um, for a long time, wasn't a fan of life change. Now I love life change. It's very fucking good. So... There's plenty, like I said earlier, my 2,500 hours is, is good and all, but there's still so much I don't know about this game. Just stuff like my, uh, my biased, um, like, meta of, like, um, of, of things that I know I like kind of makes me not experiment sometimes. Um, so, there's still plenty of, for me to learn in Skull the Hero Slayer. Like, I don't deny that even a little bit. And my audience definitely, uh, especially my Twitch audience, very much keeps me uh, keeps me building new things. So shoutouts to the Twitch boys and girls and anything else. All right, we got the fucking treasure room. 
All right, maybe this next shop will actually be good then. It's going to be this room though, because we're giga low rolling our doors. Minotaur should I should ooh okay I was about to say I should have considered the Minotaur and then looky here it's another Minotaur. And he even has bludgeon. Yay! Let's go. Do I want to keep this gold percent gain? <clears throat> also, the question is, am I keeping um, Goblet of Everlasting Heat? I always hold on to this way longer than I feel like I should. I could have Giga Gold Percent Gain if I take this and this together. I think I'm going to do that. Like, I, I'll, I'll always hold on to the Goblet of Everlasting Heat far too long. And it just ends up hurting me. God damn damn gotcha gaming dude something like this is perfect i think pretty sure but we also need chase still we don't have chase even close to done my goal is to build around chase on this build do we care about we don't have arms either but also there's a really good arms on we're looking for so and we still technically i think want to build excessive bleeding for though the thing about excessive bleeding is you really don't need to go above excessive bleeding two. Like you can easily and happily stay at excessive bleeding two, and your run's gonna be just fine. I definitely don't think we want to lose courage at a stage like this. It, okay, let's get rid of this. Denser damage scaling, good inscriptions? Question mark. I mean, they are, but we don't have the benchmarks for them. But we'll get there. And now, like we we have the gold percent gain, we uh we're gonna be a lot better off for at least the foreseeable future until I inevitably have to delete those items. But um for now, we kind of got a lot going. Oh man, I wish I had Medusa. We're getting yeah, we're getting an ultimate golem here. Oh man, this is gonna be a nasty room. Oh, what the fuck is happening? Oh, we're dead. Uh, okay. Honestly, I think that was the, um... I, I think the difference maker there was Legion. I don't think I've ever lost to Legion until now. But now we're in very real danger. Uh, I have to go into serious mode for a bit. Oh, wow. Okay. Very bad. Very, very, very bad. I want to keep my reassembly because I think we're going to need it on a run like this. Another room like this. At least we have a shrine here. Gotta be uh, careful about using my Medusas, I think. Because, like, Medusa is such a good defensive point to get you out of, uh, out of Frieza. If you get stuck in a Frieza. And I have been, like... Oh, God. I've been abusing my fucking... Oh, my God. This is a nightmare. I've been abusing my uh, Medusa. Oh, my God. I can't talk. We're in real trouble here. Treasure. It's gold percent gain. It allows me to take magic um, chase items. I'm going to take it. It could go treasure four if I really needed to. But like, I don't really have room for it. This is going to be a very scary adventure if I... I don't know if I'm getting out of here with my reassembly intact. If I do, it'll be a miracle. I have forward march active. I have to switch. Okay, this is not good. I'm trying to kill her. Okay, we stopped her from ulting. Good, good. If I could kill her, that'd be really good. Okay, I don't like this. She's ulting. That's acceptable, I guess, as long as I killed the mage there. Uh, we are losing our... Re oh, no, we're fine, we're fine. One good forward march is all it takes.
Okay. I am ulting. <laughs> okay, let's go. I'm revitalized. At least a little bit. <laughs> hey, look, it's Genie. Who, by the way, his dash attacks don't count as dash attacks. Like, they count as basic attacks or something. Very annoying. Do I still want him? Nope. <laughs> I do not. And also the Centaurian was and people are gonna be like, you passed the Centaurian or whatever the fuck it's called. It's it's not a very good quint. I do not regret passing that up. Uh, sadly I have to use some of my um some of my uh bone shards here to heal. So we're gonna be further off from the Minotaur, but the Minotaur is even that important. It's it matters, but it doesn't matter a lot. This is definitely a a Pikeman run through and through. Okay, we do not want to let these guys summon another one of these. Uh, they are almost certainly summoning this. Let's just stay up here and fight this, because that is... Actually, he is posing a bit of a threat to me down there. The problem is, like, he can hit me with his, like, upswing on the hammer, so, like... But now we can do this. Yeah, I'm thinking that was pretty good. Loser. Get rid of that. Gotta play a little careful for the foreseeable future, but like, it's not all bad. It's not all bad. It's all, it's kind of bad, but it's not all bad. Shocker that a bleed run's underperforming, by the way. But maybe we can get it to get there. I'm not giving up hope on this run. Not yet. I think this run can get there. Especially if we can deal with this very quickly. Just get it, get in and out of this room as fast as possible. Yeah! Deal with that fucking Dark Elite super fast. Forward March is so powerful if you just time it correctly, man. I used to be so terrified of Forward March just across the board. I would almost never use it. And I, I was always a, a firm believer that there's only one good cha uh, Pikeman skill, or, yeah, one good Pikeman skill. But now I'm a firm believer that there's three good Pikeman skills and one bad one. And the bad one is Ford Rush. And it's not even really bad, I guess. It's just not good. I'm going to take this over Minotaur, actually. Less Bone Shards we have to build. Unfortunate to see this this late. Kind of makes it useless. Probably still better than this, so I'll take it. It gives me treasure four. No more reason to have uh, something like that. This is kind of good. Ooh, treasure clone step. I'm not trying to build treasure enhanced, though, is the thing. We're supposed to be looking for magic chase items, so I should be looking for that. Take these bone shards as well. Despite the run being a low roll on the doors, we're actually a pretty ahead for all things considered on the our bone shard count, which is really nice. If I can get out of this uh, act without dying to Chimera, we're pretty much back in uh, in good favor with this run. The death in Act Three won't matter anymore. But like we're still behind in damage in a lot of categories. It's uh, it's going to be an uphill battle for sure, but not an uphill battle that we cannot overcome. And I'll, I like saying this from time to time, but I actually really enjoy struggle runs uh, as long as I come out on the other side victorious. Like it, it's always nice to to struggle and really feel that fucking that fucking pain of uh, of trial, and then come out on the other side victorious. Okay, uh, I think they're gonna summon an ultimate golem. I can't tell if I hit them or someone else. I, I don't think... Nope, they are summoning an ultimate golem. Well, fuck me. How many ultimate golems have we fucking seen in this dumbass fucking act? We've seen so many. I think we've seen almost all of them. It's crazy, man.
I wanted to activate the uh, the um, Great Sage's time. God damn! We could get. Oh, I was about to say we could get a magic chase out of here. I think Bone of Rapidity actually works on um, on Pikeman when he's dashing. But at the same time, it it wouldn't be very good here. It's only a uh, one speed skull Bone of Rapidity, so we're not going to take it. We're after very specific things moving forward. Very specific things indeed. Sadly, I think it's too late for us to easily find a hidden dagger, which is like the main item I really wanted for a build like this. Man, this is going to be a tough Chimera. Very stupid of me to continue doing that there, but what can I say? I'm fucking dumb. <clears throat> God, we're doing such little damage. Okay, Grace Age's time, pop off King. She is being so gross with her attack pattern. Stop with the orbs! Just let me out, let me out, let me out. Whoo! Okay. Jesus fucking Christ. Nightmare scenario. But we're through it. Give me something good. Pot of Greed's very good. So is Shadow Knights, but I'm taking a fucking pot of greed. Um, man, I do not want to give up gold percent gain. But I'm going to. <clears throat> I'm going to, because we need the... Oh, we don't even have two enough... Le we only have two legendaries. Wow. Wow. We're about to have three, but we're not even going to activate this once we ascend our uh, our guy here. Holy moly, and also bad curses again. At least the game's allowing me to build up my fucking uh, go getter. We'll upgrade here. Demon Berserker is going to be very, very, very good with uh, with the um, blooming blade shards, which is going to be nice. <clears throat> we also have a decent amount of max HP here, so you'll love to see it. Things are going fairly well at this point kind of god our damage is not dense enough though for for holding on to like status we need way higher damage than this for status be very nice if the game helped me out in that regard um i'm probably gonna scale my um a damage shrine before i scale my max uh, attack speed shrine something i normally do on chase runs regardless Not that we're even a chase run yet. The game is not giving me uh, the chase shit that I need. Now that we lost our gold in the game, it's going to be even harder. But we do have treasure for her, which will help. Alright, we're getting very, very dense uh, bone shards on these, uh, on these skull rooms. So, like... Things are going well, all things considered. Frankly, I feel like this run should be doing worse than it is, so... Like, I've had way, way worse runs that, um... That have, like, better circumstances than this one. Alright, let's deal with this guy while we can...
Okay, we got him. Now we just have to deal with your dumbass. Alright, nice. Not bad, not bad. Could have gone a lot worse in this room. This is one of the worst rooms in the game. If this guy becomes a Dark Elite and he gets something like Quarantine, holy fuck, man. That shit blows. You know what else blows? My money count for this shop. <laughs> this is not what I wanted to see. Trash. 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 I'm not even gonna gamble here. We don't have gold percent gain. Yikes. Well, rolling your doors, man. It really is the worst thing that can happen to a run. Would be nice to get some gold out of these, even though like the bone shards are nice and all. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Actually, we kind of have the perfect answer for this, huh? <laughs> Get fucked, loser. I have no sympathy for a stupid-ass brawler Dark Elite. Man, Mad Axe is such a slow attack with no attack speed. Like, makes me kind of want to build my Arachna Shrine up. The, the one I usually build up. Actually, we can freely push these. We don't have anything we're trying to build. Always let people know that if you're building an Evil Sword Kyrian, do not push those. Because if you uh, let those things kill your Evil Sword, it will not count uh, for the uh, overall... Or also a, a de book of... Or Demon Omicron as well, but... Trap damage does not give you any... Uh... And for this stupid-ass tornado. Where's the tornado at? I'm so confused. Is it glitched? Oh, what? Hello? I'm, s I'm... Okay, now I feel another one pulling at me. Oh, I guess it just wasn't reaching. Oh, wow. A little last second damage there for no good reason. Oh, wait, we're not the adventurer yet. Okay. Genuinely thought we would be. There's so many good rare items I could have gotten here. <laughs> Come on, man. This is dense damage scaling. But look how much weaker getting rid of this makes me in the short term. This run's in big trouble, man. This run is in very big trouble. Um, I'm tempted to take this item room. I'm going to. Got rid of the big problem. Now we just have little problems left. But yeah, he's unstoppable. Always gotta remember that. All right. Yeah, I was almost certain it would be here now. Come on, man. Wind Armor's not good. It's a bad chase item. I don't think I can fit it. Not without getting rid of something good. Man, I just... Yeah, I can't in good conscience take it. It just doesn't make sense. Uh, are we in for trouble? Yes, we are. Uh, there's a good chance I lose my last resistance here. Uh, like on a low damage run, this guy might be worse than Huntress. We're going to be here a long time. Why does he have his shield out? What the fuck? 
It wasn't even a visual glitch, it was real. Oh man, I fucked up. Big time fuck up there. Come on, man. What the fuck was that? That's fucking insane. I mean, there's a good chance I'll lose my reassembly in here, frankly. Yep. There's a good chance I die in here. Death by a bajillion paper cuts this time. Kill him like this. He can't hurt me up here. I probably should have been doing this from the start, frankly. You fucker, man. Stop that, man. It's like the only attack he has that can hit me when I'm doing this. Again with this? Oh, I might be dead. Okay, we're fine. The fine, fine, though. This run is far from fine right now. I shouldn't have swapped there. Yeah, that was disastrous. Not good rewards either. We're in big trouble. Oh man. What a fucking nightmare. Never surprised when um when bleed builds fuck off. Like uh don't do well. It's never shocking to me. Especially when I'm building it among another uh, strategy chase which for the record have I've been fucked over in the RNG department on that as well I've barely seen any chase items still a chance my uh, pot agree drops a uh, main of the beast king I guess sadly that missed let's do what we did in the last fight here All right, give me the thing. Dark Skull is gonna be a nightmare if we even make it to Dark Skull. Very low chance we come out of that, okay. Raven Lord, um, I suppose. The max HP will do. Gotta actually play careful in here and remember that these guys drop one gold when you fight them, so it's literally pointless. This is one of the worst mini games in the entire game for like rewards. Oh boy. Yeah, one fucking gold. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Platform cheese. Even more platform cheese. I'm going to do it here as well. I think it'll work. It might not work. I might might not be able to leap high enough, but we'll see. It worked. Got aggroed on, but 
Man, we got a lot of uh, chest in here. Not bad, dude. Making out like bandits, getting like a hundred gold. All they do is drop the fucking fake diamonds. It's like, why is this minigame so like fucking jank? Right, this is the last thing, I believe, so we can... Nope, it is not the last thing. Okay, well. Plus one gold, though. Plus one gold. That's what's up. That, what if I'm missing the thing by one gold, dude? Then what? People are hating right now, but, like, what, what about then? Then what are you guys going to say? That plus one gold saved the fucking day. And it's going to be a main of the Beast King, too. You'll see. Should have broke this when I was up here last time. Whoops. All right. Thank you for the max HP, man. He's like, here's my sacred family heirloom. Mmm. Puts on bib. Thanks, bro. Chomp. Oh my god. It is a main of the beast king. Okay. Hold up. Wait a minute. Ship might be okay after all. Sweats. Okay, that's not quite what we wanted to see, but none of this is at all what I wanted to see. I ditched um <clears throat> I ditched oh also we can buy Chase on the pedestal, so we can get Chase now. But I ditched the um the sin there, because we have no sin. Like I was supposed to have sin, but we don't. <laughs> <clears throat> this is where all the magic chase items that I was looking for show up. Stigma balls will be here. Our damage is a lot better than it was, though. That's that's for certain. Now we have that amplification from uh, chase four. <clears throat> Excuse my uh, throat clearing there. Let me drink some water real quick. Don't want to get smited by fireballs while I'm trying to clear, fix my throat problem. Miracle Grail? A77? 750? 750's fine, is that real? Oh, it's only real on Berserker. 654. We can change our treasure pedestal to bleed four. I think that'll be good with um with Tibia if I can get it. I don't have a high enough crit rate to take the femur. My crit rate's ten. Which is why, uh, for the record, unless we got like um blood drunk sword which we didn't um taking uh taking bleed four is oftentimes not a big deal our damage is actually kind of good now can we turn this shit around at the last fucking second dog what is happening the game is apologizing profusely Get rid of this, because we don't care about treasure anymore. Yeah, we do not give a fuck about treasure. Um, We don't have arms, though. But still, it doesn't matter. That's, like, such a good pickup. Do we care about Masterpiece 3? Probably more than we care about uh, 25 damage percent. Yeah. And also, the... Uh, the Grace Age's time represents more damage across the board. Oh, he's a... Uh, yeah, he's a Dark Attack. I remember that. But we can leave him down there to stew for a moment while we deal with the rest of this map. Dude, I can't believe we got the main of the Beast King. <laughs> Holy moly. We'd still... We, the, the cost was reassembly, though, so, like... Li too little, too late, fucking Skull the Hero Slayer. I'm still mad at you.
But at least it's a step in the direction to healing. This is maybe the worst Berserker I've ever had. Keeping it real. This Berserker is terrible. Because um, I don't have any skill cooldown and attack speed. And that's like everything to Berserker. This is pretty much a solo pikeman run at this point. And also, we're going to struggle a little bit here because our status damage is like a decent part of our damage. Not like a huge part, but like, it's there, so we can't status these stupid things. This also is a good segment to turn on our uh, forward march. Unbubble this fucking thing, Joan, you fucking psycho! She ate like all my forward march. God, she sucks, man. I hate John. Now she's pissed. Can't believe she done this shit to me, man. And now look, she's unbubbling after a second. Wow. When it behooves you. Just let me out of here. You know what? I was about to not summon her orbs, but it could actually have an outcome on the fight, so I'm gonna let her summon him. But god damn, do I want to stop her? Not even because like I like I want to cheat to win, but because I want to piss her off. It's like the worst attack she could have done right now. I have to be so careful against a hero about activating forward march. Because it could definitely be a death sentence if I activate at the wrong time. Alright. Not too shabby, I guess. See, I've seen shabbier. Uh, pretty garbage stuff here. Take the money. Unfortunate to see garbage there. But it is what it is. Life, you... <laughs> Alright, game. Okay, I see how it is. Uh, we can only afford a tier 2 thing here. You know what? Um, Super Baby. 358 max HP is pretty good. You can also max this out. Get some good damage from this. It's only 100, but 100 is 100. And we'll put 2 in this. Pretty pathetic. But for a low roll door count, this is a good Arachna Shrine. God, look at my stats, man. What a sad, sad state of affairs we are currently in. I'm so sad. <laughs> but hey, remember what I said earlier in Act 3? If I, if I win this run, I will be very happy with myself. If I beat Dark Skull, I'll be very happy with myself, frankly. Oh, what the hell? Oh. Okay. All right, Skull. I fucking see you. I see you, you dumb asshole. Is this even possible to farm? Probably. What goes, though? All of this is building towards something important. Frankly, this is the odd thing out. What does my damage look like if I do this, though? It's actually not that much worse. It's worse. I'm gambiting so hard right now that I awaken this before we get to the Dark Hero, if I do what I'm about to do. I would buy heirloom. Okay. I'm I'm gambiting, guys. This is what we call the hacks of gambit. And the, will it pay off? <laughs> hey, yo know what? Talk to me in about five minutes or so. Why am I not applying uh there? Oh boy.
I never noticed these things pitter patter when they walk. And it has like the Doppler effect where like the further you are away from them, the like it gets quieter. Okay, we're definitely all right. Fifteen. I think we're getting this. Overall, this is still a obscenely low damage percent run for a bleed run. So even if we get this, which it's looking like we will, we're still going to be in some pain. But chase enhanced will help. Yeah, you can die. Alright, we're at 27. We're definitely getting this. Okay, let's push him back. Oh my god. It's just an ocean of fucking statues. Okay, we're there. The Haxagamut paid off. Now we got damage. Ooh, we're better than we were. <laughs> and we also have crit right now. Which won't matter past Dark Skull, but it's going to matter before Dark Skull. Alright, here goes. Um... Good luck to me. I'm going into a hyperbolic time chamber of concentration. I hope you guys understand. Here goes. Okay. It's going well. I gotta say, it is going pretty freaking well. Gotta remember, I don't have reassembly though, so like, all damage I take will count a lot in the Dark Skull fight, and also in the Dark Hero fight, and every fight moving forward. If I die in this Dark Hero fight, we have no cushion against Dark Skull, so I have to concentrate even more during this, uh, this Dark Hero fight. Very much not lose this last resistance. Now, I'd like to keep it during Dark Skull as well. Man, you fucker. Okay, we're sticking in... Oh! He's going into phase two. It's because I stunned him. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I think I figured out why sometimes he especially bugs out in weird ways. If you, uh interrupt his normal attack uh, pattern here oh i almost got siphoned Whew. okay i knew that shit was coming too that was very idiotic of me yeah he's going into the phase one roar here see i think it's all because of stun he might go into the phase three roar here actually no not quite is he gonna siphon i don't think so
Now he goes into phase three roar. Save our Medusa for the meatball if it shows up. Because we can instantly kill the meatball with stun. out for a grab now he's gonna grab and now he siphons now we get the fuck out the hacks a mantra get the fuck out of the fight at this point <laughs> cannot stress that enough that at this stage you you at all costs get the fuck out here comes the siphon wait no 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 the siphon already happened i'm a fucking idiot he did the good attack though, this is the attack you want to see from him, because it's really, really uh, bad. Yeah, we should be out of here. Alright, good stuff, good stuff. Whoo! Okay. It's not over till a fat lady sings, and she hasn't even shown up. Now she, she's about to show up though. <laughs> she's coming, guys. Oh, do you hear it? A faint yodeling can be heard in the distance. Alright, we have two options here. Excessive bleeding or chase. I'm taking chase. Chase will be very good in the Dark Skull fight. I almost will... I mean, I'll probably swap maybe once or twice. I'm. My goal is not to swap in this fight, though, as much as possible. Because uh, Berserker is basically not here. But just to show you excessive bleeding for uh, upon inflicting bleed has a 35% chance to cause severe bleeding, dealing more damage. Not I, when I took this before, it was on stream, not on my YouTube channel. Although I don't remember if I, if I uploaded this video or not, but uh, it did not feel very good. Chase is tried and true and powerful, so get yeah, 100 extra damage percent. Can't go wrong with that. The movement speed is also pretty nice for avoiding things. I do not like the wind sound though. <laughs> That's a little extra. All right, enough jokes, enough having fun. That was a time that warranted uh, swapping. I'm probably not gonna activate Fort March much, if at all. I gotta remember the power of my bleed, and uh, also remember to use my basics. Oh, he stunned himself. Okay. Not bad. Oh my god. He's like teleporting across the battlefield. I'll swap here. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. That was stupid of me. Complete waste. I popped off there, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Alright, but there's a good chance we can get out of here. Gotta really respect this, though, for sure. Respect the hell out of him. Give him space. He's probably gonna jump at me. Nope, he's not.
Okay, let's see if he gives me the good attack. He did not. Get fucked. We're doing good damage. Like, genuinely. Don't get hit here. It'd be disastrous if I got hit there. He's giving me the good attack patterns, too. Respect this. Don't get hit. Go into the Giga ult. Weird. He did something weird there. That was bizarre. Don't get hit here. Alright, we're pretty much through the Dark Skull file, I would say, at this point. And also, I am going to take the Tibia. Um, sorry, but I am going to. It's literally by a lot the best thing I can have here. He also went into speed skull form, which is like exactly what I wanted to see here. Tibia is going to make this run pop off in an unimaginable way. Like our damage is going to go from like good, but mediocre to like insane you're gonna see it all right this is gonna be i, I think we win guys <laughs> i'm feeling pretty good man if i turn this run into a victory i'm gonna be so happy with myself just remember what this run was like in the fucking um adventurer fight in act four like it's come a long way very quickly because the game very rapidly was like here you go here you go here you go here you go And I gotta say, Blooming Blade Shards, an item I almost never get to use. I've heard very good things about it before now. Very good. Blooming Blade Shards is incredibly, it's probably the best bleed item. He did the annoying attack, which is unfortunate, but um... Okay, I need to not be a fucking idiot here. I haven't won yet, so let's not get too comfortable. You know what's funny about um, Tibia? It makes excessive bleeding forward do nothing. Because, like, Tibia would make them crit anyway. Playing a little passive here. Gotta make sure I don't go in the box. But, um... Going in the box would be a disaster. Alright, good. We gotta... Like, once I realized I was taking unnecessary damage and I can't play like an idiot there, I brought it back. I think that's the sound for the box. So he was about to put me in the fucking box. <laughs> Whoo! Okay. No box for me. Please. Let's be very cautious here. I'm gonna swap... I f Actually, no, I don't have to swap. We have our, our one skill. I was about to say I'm going to swap when uh, into Berserker when he does the, the Rift attack so I can escape it with the Tackle Dashing. But we don't need to. Um, we're fine.
Just gotta make sure I have it up. Also, I have to swap now. I guess we will just stay out as Berserker for this. The reason I swapped there is because I uh, activated freaking, um, I activated my, uh, my forward march. Can't dodge this with forward march on. Gotta be careful not to do too much damage to this thing. Please, safe time to activate forward march. Oh, this is bad. I don't like this. We're probably going to get another rift here. Better to get another rift than to get a, uh, a rift in phase two. Which isn't even a rift in phase two. It's, uh, it's like he summons like a fucking gravity well that like sucks a bunch of debris and it's horrible. I almost never see that move because I don't see it on purpose. Because seeing it even once is such a disaster. Alright, beautiful. I'm just going to go into the debris phase here. Like, I'm still going to beat the fuck out of him here, but I'm going to be a little more passive than you normally see me play here. Because, like, I'm just accepting that we're going into the rift. I mean the uh, debris phase. I think he's about to send me into it right now, even. Yep. Which is fine by me. Pikemen's are very good at dodging this, especially with Chase. We have movement speed. So, like, normally this is pretty hard. Here it's, like, very, very, very simple. And I think we won this run, guys. You guys have to give me kudos in the comments. You have to. Like, I pulled this, like, almost certain loss to victory at the last fucking second. Also, none of y'all would have made the pot of greed play that I made. Almost none of you, at least some of you guys would. Those who are very familiar with my style of run building probably would have. But uh, not a lot of you would have. And it was absolutely the correct play. But it was a bit of a gambit. Although I was pretty certain we could awaken the... Um, we could awaken it before we get to uh, dar uh, Dark Hero. But it still was a bit of a risky play in that regard. But without even a shred of doubt, the correct play to make. Are you okay, dude? Oh, he's about to do the attack. We need to be careful. Oh, wait, no, he's not. Okay. I thought he was about to go to that. <laughs> Shit. You guys know what I'm talking about. He, he might do it here, though. There it is. But he didn't get to get me. G fucking G, dude. And I, you know what? G, G to a G to myself. I'm calling myself a G, which I am. Anyway, let's forward march across the finish line. Forward march in the pit a little bit. Oh, my head's peeking out. Now we're completely down here, but I'm still floating. I'll let him fall now. GG's. Beautiful, man. Holy mother of God. I'm so proud of this victory. Ha ah, <laughs> ha so, ha. You know, I still got it. I still got it. Um, Definitely a, a run I you will not see again from me for a while. I'm not going to lie, though. Bleed Pikeman is a... It's decent. Like, it's still bleed. And I have such a low opinion of bleed. But, like... If bleed Pikeman's gonna, or if bleed is gonna work, it's gonna work on a run like this. I have a very, very, very high opinion of this item. Um, after using it here, very, very good. Oh, we did some kind of, <laughs> we did some kind of damage, like weird glitch. Where would this would have come from anyway? I don't even know how you make this happen. Maybe it's a bleed thing. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I did that shit. Yeah, I'm kind of a big deal. An literal incomprehensible number. Yeah. <laughs> I got that dog in me. But, uh... <laughs> um, yeah, big, big high opinion of this uh, item. Uh, and frankly, you know, even though I definitely credit myself for this win and coming back from the brink of destruction, the game was very generous in the l last fucking second. It was like, here's a fucking Miracle Grail. Here's a Mane of the Beast King. Here's a Blood Drunk Sword. Uh, good luck, dude. Yeah, I've been a dick up to this point, but 
I'm feeling a little bad about it. So here you go. Make it happen, bro. We believe in you. And the Skull Gods are clapping like, Oh, bravo, bravo, Haxla, you did it, dude. You fucking did it. Um, <laughs> but hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I enjoyed it. I don't have to record twice today. I had this sinking feeling in my gut. It's like, yep, I built a bleed run and now I'm paying the consequences. I'm going to have to record again after I lose this run against the fucking Act 4 adventurer. But uh, we pulled it back, man. Pulled it back. Didn't even lose last resistance in the uh the second in the last in the end game gauntlet uh, keep this in mind this is a good argument for why the act four adventurers are such pains in the asses and why i still consider them to be among the hardest fights in the entire game certainly harder than dark hero um at least some of them probably still not harder than dark skull because dark skull is like a if you fuck up one time you're dead type deal but uh for a player like me who very just like i have the dark hero fight down i know how to fight him like, he's not that bad once you get used to him. I really do consider some of these adventures to be harder than even the in-game gauntlet in some ways. Like, I guess the real thing about it is, is um, if you have a bad run in particular, your run that doesn't have all the items you need up to that point, or your inscriptions are bad, you're going to struggle really hard with the um, with the Act 4 adventures, and it it just shows so much sometimes. Also, I gotta say, I didn't really feel that much of a boost from the tibia, if I'm keeping it real, which is kind of interesting. Um, I I guess it, it bleeds being able to crit doesn't matter that much. I don't know. But um, it still was the best thing we could have taken. Arguably, if we had... if well, Okay, not even argue, but if we had a higher crit rate, the uh, the femur would have been the best thing to pick, for sure. I've, I, I'm kind of of the opinion now that the femur often can rival the power of the tibia, especially on crit item runs. Well, not on crit armor. On crit on strike runs, even strike two, like the 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 femur probably is stronger. As long as you have a decent crit rate, the femur is stronger than the uh, than the tibia. It's an interesting item for sure. But with that said, I've rambled enough. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. God damn, do I am I happy to be on this fucking golden windscreen after the nightmare run that this was in the early for most of it. I was about to say the early half for most of the fucking run. It was a nightmare. But that's all I got. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate y'all, and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.